Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you're aware, last week we had the Groups 3 race at the new Tokyo layout. So, we went on the American account and we started from the back of the grid. We wasn't quite last because there was two other, a few other people that hadn't um, set a time. Carl Lamb there behind us also didn't set a time. And the aim is to see how far up the grid we can get. We do this every week near enough um, when the track permits and try and work our way up the field. So. Great start, you can see going through two cars straight away and getting ourselves straight up into P16. So a nice little start on turn one, gaining a few positions. And now we're going into the very tricky section where in general at the start of the race there was quite a lot of chaos going on in this corner. A lot of people making moves, people running wide. There's a driver in front of me makes a move and goes wide. Two cars coming side by side. I had to go actually cut the corner because I was worried that he was going to run ghost. I actually picked up a penalty there where I was actually avoiding the cars because I wasn't sure if it was going to run ghost or not. We know the current system on GT Sport of this um, ghosting is pretty bad so I tried to avoid that and got a penalty. However, it was only about a 1.4 second penalty or something like a 1 second penalty. But we managed to get ourselves straight up into P12 and then started to go past the 4 GT through the tunnel. And we're now into P11 and we're only halfway through lap 1. So a great start to the race from the back of the grid. Um, really worked my way through that traffic really nicely. Um, no contact, managed to do it clean. And pretty much the perfect start to the race to see how close we can get to the winning this race. Obviously, it was going to be a bit harder than some other track as we get totally destroyed into the tight hairpin. A driver totally misses braking. I don't know if he was going for an overtake or what happened there, but a little bit annoyed and didn't give the position back up. So I lost a position there. I think I actually lost two positions near enough or one or two positions. Lost quite a bit of time on the track. You can see I've got to try and overtake this driver again. So a little bit frustrating because we were looking to make a move on that P10 in up ahead. But now we're having to try and get back past the Ford. So a little bit frustrating. Lost about a second. Probably more by the time we get past the Ford in front of us. Because we've now got to make the move again. And then go through the final corner. A little touch on the wall. Not as much as the Ford in front of me. We're now going to be able to get the run from the Ford. As he's made a slightly bigger error on that final corner. And get in the slipstream and make a move on the inside. So putting the car on the inside into turn one. And just keeping it nice and tight to the apex. And he runs wide anyway. And that's the position back. Um, so not a massive loss. Just about a second. Something like that. Um, just a little bit of time loss there. As we had to make our way through that car again. But straight away back up to the blue Corvette. I think it is. It was in front of me. As a golf. You see there. Pulling over obviously. I think he's had an issue on one of the corners. And then tries to have a little look up the inside. Nearly collects me on the apex. That corner just about gets away with that. Looks like he maybe missed his braking slightly as he was um, going into the corner slightly slower and tried to break that a little bit later, but just about avoided contact with the rear of my car. Luckily for myself, there was no contact there. So now we've just got to look at trying to get past this group of cars ahead of us as there's battling going on. We're going to get that slipstream. We've got a really nice exit from the corner. We're getting the slipstream off the Ford. I'm going to go down the left-hand side, and now we're going to try a very brave move and hold it around the left-hand side. We've got to give him plenty of space there. I actually backed out a little bit just so the Ford could run wide through there because you can't really go on the exit there side by side. But now we're going to stick to the Ford's um, rear bumper as much as possible. We're going to fake a move down the left-hand side so he goes defensive there and then chuck it down the right-hand side, break a little bit later, hold a nice tight apex to the corner, down to second gear, and that's another really clean, nice move. And up into P8 already. So two laps into this race, um, not even finished lap two, and we're up to P8. Um, a great start in this race. Obviously, P1 starting to pull away, obviously, with the um, clear air that he's got. So we've just got to try and get through this traffic as fast as possible and as cleanly as possible. This track is quite hard to do it on because you only have a one or two real overtaking opportunities. And then it's a lot of fast corners that you pretty much just have to stay in the slipstream on. But we've got a nice pull on the car in front there. A better exit from the corner. We're going to get our front alongside on the inside. And now we're going to have the inside line into the first corner, the really tight left-hand corner. Um, the only downside to this is we're not going to get a strong exit from the corner because we've got to take a really narrow entry point. So trying to keep it nice and narrow in the apex. He runs a little bit wide, and that's another nice clean move. So some great overtaking there on the first few laps in this race. And now we're working our way up to P6. P6 is the next target now that we've got to try and catch up and get past. So quite a hectic start to the opening first few laps on that race there was incidents overtakes people hitting us and someone nearly hitting me as well in the golf um, a lot of action and so far a really enjoyable race as we now got another four gt to overtake a lot of four gts on the american servers a lot more than was on the eu servers um, not really wasn't as popular car on the eu server as it was on the american server it was a good car for the track though 
perfectly capable of um, getting in the top 10 top stars, I think, on this track with the Ford. It had um, really good speed and it's very good through fast corners, so that's why a lot of people were probably using it. As we now go through our purple sector, obviously, um, quite surprised that we've obviously the overtaken turn one because we didn't really wasn't able to take the proper line through there but now we're starting to pick up a little bit of a slipstream from p6 so that's going to help us get even closer now into the braking zone we're going to break as late as possible try not to miss our braking because you can it's very easy to break really late there with a slipstream miss your braking completely and run off wide and lose a lot of time but an early up shift into third gear and um, what you'll see we're doing we're doing a lot of early shifting because we're trying to save fuel while trying to drive fast so we're not 100 concentrating on fuel consumption in this race so far we're trying to mix it up um, a little bit of short shifting with some aggressive um, driving as well to try and make sure we can overtake people and work our way through the field as we get very close through this um, final corner trying to make a nice clean entry he runs a little bit wide he skims the wall he doesn't lose too much time but that's going to give me the opportunity to have a little look down the right fake that he's going to go defensive down the right and then that gives me the chance again to get the inside of my car up on the inside and side by side going into turn one as we've got an Audi in front of us we've got that move pretty much made there's no um, defensive driving he can really do I managed to take good speed through the corner and now we've got the slipstream of that Audi R8 we're going to go down the right hand side and make another move there and that's two moves in the space of pretty much one straight so nicely done there and now we've just got four cars in front of us before we you know to get the win in this race um four cut we're in p5 so four more cars to overtake can we do this in this race it's going to be very close like i say this was a lot harder than um some of the other tracks that we've had to do purely because of the layout and obviously um group three it tends to be quite hard on anyway because they're fairly equal cars but going through this long fast corner trying to get a nice clean exit we're going to be pitting at the end of this lap and um, going in the pits putting a new set of tires on and obviously refueling the car obviously we're all running um racing soft tires and um, a lot of people running racing soft tires i think some people decided to run different tires but um, racing soft tires were the way to go and um, pit a lap for there was no point trying to do a no stop here you lost too much time such fast corners you you lose too much time if you try and do a no stopper on, on a different compound the tire it's not worth doing as we go into the braking zone a little bit later than normal because we're obviously going to be going in the pits and able to carry a lot of speed on into the exit and um, into the pit lane entry so you tend to break a little bit later as you can run a lot wider so we're in the pits now got slightly better fuels than some drivers not as much as some other drivers obviously that's expected with the strategy we're running coming through the field and trying to attack and obviously doing a little bit of fuel saving but it looks like we've actually gained the position in that pit stop we're still in p5 but two drivers have not pitted so managed to jump one car in the pit so we're technically in p3 in this current situation now i think p3 is where we are p3 of p4 i can't work out um yeah let's have a little look as it all um, figures itself out when we go over the line on the next lap but i think we're technically in p3 or p4 as one driver is not pitted yet up ahead i think it's a driver in the lead so we've made some gains there so not a bad um first in after the first four laps and now we've got to try and keep the consistency and keep pushing obviously this race was done at the start of the week i think it was on monday or tuesday when the um, race went on their new track we wasn't fully up to speed by this point we did manage to improve quite a bit in terms of qualifying with the other car we used the lamborghini in the end and the race pace got a lot better towards the end of the week but still driving fairly nicely in this race trying to keep it nice and smooth nice and consistent as we're now approaching we can see another car in front of us and um, it's always good when you can see the car just up ahead you see him going through the corners there once you can see the car it gives you that little bit of motivation to keep pushing and getting in that slipstream and that was the aim to just get to the back of the slipstream and then he's going to obviously drag me all the way up to him and i should be able to get past fairly comfortably once i've got a nice solid slipstream off p4 so let's have a little look at the race position as some drivers are obviously going to be going in the pits on this lap let's have a little look up on the um lap the chart on the left hand side with the positions in the race who's going to go in the pits um, to see where we're going to end up as we go past the pit lane so we've got one driver in there so definitely one driver so that's one place we're going to be up to p4 as we go through lap one and another driver there so it was two people that haven't pitted so we actually did um jump a few people in the pits as we run a little bit wide there and um, clipping the wall and now up into p3 so in a really good position in this race you can see p1's just a quite a way up the um track at the moment and um, not really that close p2 though is definitely within touching distance so 
even a P2 in this race would be amazing if I could come back from obviously at the back of the grid and get myself into P2. You can see it, I think that's P1 just up ahead there. So about three, four seconds up the track, we've got um, three more laps to do it in. That's quite a lot to ask, obviously, over a second lap. Um, but it is possible as we go over the line with the fastest lap of the race. Um, not an amazing lap, but still in the 1 minute 54s, which is not bad for race pace. Um, do expect to go a little bit faster normally um, towards the end of the week. We were hitting, I think, 54 fives and sixes in the race pace, but not a bad lap for the start of the week as we're now closing in on P2. And just got to keep the consistency. This is all this is about now. It's just making sure we don't make too many errors. We've done a great job so far. You can see Carl Lamb also up to P6 there. A few positions back. Um, did the same. Going for the same strategy as me. Obviously starting from the back of the grid without setting a qualifying lap. It's good fun to do. And um, it's quite good practice um, for obviously racecraft. Although with the current penalty system, um, it's very risky. I, I have my opinion on the current pen penalty system. They've definitely changed something on the last update that I think is a massive massive negative for the game i think they've gone too far i don't like it um i i don't know if to do a video on it because it's really bad again and it's the point where now i feel like we can't race again and i don't like that it's gone the wrong way um but will they change it back who knows the penalty system is going one way then the other way then back again it doesn't seem to ever fit a nice balance the penalty system in my personal view now um, this week's track is really highlighting it even more as P2 has a little moment there on the apex of the corner you could see he squared it off okay but he got the rear a little bit loose now that's left me a little left let me actually gain a little bit of time on him and we're very very close to picking up that slipstream which again is is a lot of motivation when you can see that the slipstream is even closer it gives you that motivation to get as close as you can and try and get him um, into that position p2 would be a great result even if i could just get up to p2 and um, going through this section trying to keep it nice and smooth nice clean exit and p2 again coming under pressure he's feeling must be feeling the pressure a bit there as he clips the wall and makes another error and that's given me the slipstream now and that's what i needed now to try and make a move we might be able to make a move now after turn one this really fast left hand corner chucking it in trying to keep it very tight to the apex on the pile nice and early early up shift into sixth gear now we've got that slipstream Will we be able to pick up enough of a slipstream to make a move going into the very tricky section there? He looks like he's going defensive. I'm going to have a little look to the left. He's going to cover that and then I just about do it in time and get myself over to the right hand side. And he looks like he's just given that position up after he's seen me um, on the inside. He looks like he may be looking to do the undercut, but I managed to get the braking pretty much um, spot on there. So we've now got just over a lap to go, one lap and a half to go. P1. It's just over a second. He's just out of the slipstream, really, at the moment. We are gaining um, every single um, sector we're gaining, really up to the wall there on that um, corner onto this long straight. So gaining even more time now all the way through the tunnel. And this is going to be really close. Can we manage to get into the lead in this race? It'll be a great result if I can. It's going to be very close, obviously. Can't afford to make any real errors if I'm going to be able to do this because obviously not in the slipstream yet. It's going to have to be a move on the final lap somewhere, but just just so close to getting that slipstream, but just not close enough at the moment. You can see he's just about a second and a half ahead, um, driving okay at the moment. We do that corner fairly nice, on the power nice and early, and trying to push all the way now up the hill. Also now we've got to be very cautious, so we make sure we lose the slipstream in the car behind. You can see the P3 is just in the slipstream at the moment, so we've got to keep pushing making sure that he's not going to get in that slip. You look like we've actually lost that slightly now through the twisty section here, driving really well through there. Very close to the wall there on the exit and actually skimming it. Are we going to be able to get a clean exit? But no, we actually hit the wall on the exit of the final corner, which is a massive blow. Um, that's going to lose us about two, three, four attempts maybe all the way down the straight as we're in the acceleration zone and you can see p1 has actually pulled away a bit there with that very costly error and um, will that be the difference between picking up the win or coming in p2 in this race you can see actually p3 has actually got into the slipstream due to that error it looks like he's picking up a very small amount of slipstream now down into the very tricky section but it looks like we're just a bit we've pretty much got it covered though p2 are we going to be able to get close enough to p1 um, we can gain some time through this section. This is where we'll be a little bit stronger. And um, you can see trying to keep it as close to the apex as possible. The front tyres are really scrubbing hard now. They're getting a lot of understeer now. They've obviously come into the end of their life. They're on the soft tyres. And they are starting to feel the wear now. 
as we're getting closer and closer trying to make sure we get a nice clean exit off this corner it's going to be so important to pick up a nice clean exit we do that okay not too um close to the wall but just trying to do it enough to pick up a slipstream. It looks like we're very close to picking up the slipstream now through the tunnel. You can see we're within the distance where you're very close to getting it, but we're just not there. This is going to be a really close end, and it's a shame without that mistake on that final corner. I think we would have had the slipstream through that tunnel and possibly been able to make a move at the end of this straight into the braking zone. So that was a very costly mistake. Um, that could have cost us the win as we get into the braking zone getting very close you can see in the braking zone and that shows you how close we would have been without that mistake but unfortunately now we're gonna have to see if we can force them into an error as we come to the final part of this race you can see picking up that slipstream the fuel was getting very low at this stage of the race trying to just push it and not worrying about the fuel trying to make sure that i drive aggressively and take advantage of any mistakes trying to put him under pressure he's holding on at the moment we've done a really good job though to get ourselves into this position in the race at this phase especially considering we actually got hit on lap one into the braking zone which probably lost us over a second at least with having to overtake another car so maybe without that we might have got the win but we come home in p2 we pressured um the driver in the lead all the way to the end we put him under pressure but unfortunately we were not able to get the win in that race but still a really enjoyable race managing to come home in p2 and it was close and just about didn't get there at the end. Unfortunately, obviously, um, I think we could have done it without that incident on the opening lap where we got hit from the back. And also that little mistake that I made on the exit of the final corner lost me the chance to get in the slipstream. But still a really fun and enjoyable race. I hope you enjoyed that race. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, we're going to be back with more of these videos in the future. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. See you soon, everyone.